Hi everyone, welcome back to Airflow 101. This is episode 7 and in this episode we will see what are different states of DAGs and tasks and how DAGs are scheduled. So let's get started. First I would like to talk about different states of DAG runs. As we have discussed about DAG runs and task instances in the previous video, in this video I want to give more emphasis on the different states and how their states change throughout the course. Right. So the first state that I want to talk about is running. This state signifies that the DAG is currently being executed and it is denoted by this line green color. The second state is success. It means that the DAG has been executed successfully and it is denoted by this dark green color. The third state is failed. It means that the DAG run has failed. The DAG can fail due to a number of reasons. It can either fail because some dependency failed or uh, any task failed in the DAG and based on any condition that you have specified in your DAG, the DAG can fail. It is denoted by this red color. Now let's talk about different states of task instances. There are 11 states for task instances and you can just pause this video and read through what different state mean. But in your day to day usage of Apache Airflow, you will mostly come across these top 6 states only. The other five are conditional and you will only encounter them if you have any specific condition mentioned in your DAG. So pause the video and read through all of these states. Now let's talk about how these states change. The user interacts with the web server and turns on the DAG. The web server then updates the status of the task in the database and set it to none. Then the scheduler picks up all the tasks and DAGs whose dependencies have been satisfied and the status of the task instance is changed to scheduled and the status of DAG is changed to running. Then scheduler sends those tasks to the queue and the status is updated to queued. The executor then picks up all the tasks from the queue and sends it to the worker. The status of the task instance is then updated to running. Once executed, the executor updates the final status of the task and DAG in the database. You can pause this video right now and go through all of these points. I have tried to summarize what all I have said in the previous slides in these five points. I strongly recommend that you go through these points to understand the concept even better. Now let's see what all we have learned practically on the web server. So this is our Airflow web server and this is the DAG that we created in the previous video. Let's turn it on. And this is picked by the scheduler. You can see its state is running. One task instance is on none and one is scheduled. Uh, this one is queued and this one is already success. And both are success. You can try playing around with this like create new DAGs at certain condition that will make the DAG or task fail and then see how these states are getting changed. And that's it. So that's all for now guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching.